Yeah, man. It's the guy, Rock Cam. Never take your eyes off me again, man. That's what they want y'all to do, man. Understand? Please. Please, man. They don't want this message to go out, man. They don't want this message to go out. They don't want what I be talking about to go out. I don't promote enough negativity, you know what I'm saying? So that shit don't really work for them, you know what I'm saying? So you know how they you know how they do it. They shadow banning me and all that shit. You know clear as day. But you know, it's all good. We're gonna find a way. We know where the source of power is at, so you know. It ain't nothing to plug into that for a good minute. Sometimes I might plug into it and take it off too soon. Phone ain't charged up yet, you know what I'm saying? But you know how it go. But yeah, man, you know, back to the topic at hand. You know, it's funny, right? When we, when we get a little bit older, what will what, start to happen. When we young, right, a lot of shit we do, it don't really click to us. It don't really register. We don't really even know what we've done. When we're young, we don't even really know what we have done, right? We don't even know the shit we seen. We don't know the the the, the we don't know the extent to you know what we just went through. Traumatic shit, you know, violence, death, you know, and all the all the all the all the bullshit that come along with that. Being in a cage like a really in a kennel like a dog, all that shit. And, and, and take a toll on your on your on your on your sanity. But when you're young, you kind of don't know. Like I, I I know for sure me I didn't know. It wasn't until I got a little bit older. And, and me, see, I'm one of them type of people. It had to hit me, and it had to hit me like all at once. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm a strong individual too. So. A lot of things don't really get to me until they, until it's too late. You know what I'm saying? Like Sweet used to always tell me, like, "Boy, you strong, was you too strong?" You know what I mean? But anyway, King Yella, King Yella been standing up for a minute. King Yella ain't no soft nigga. He ain't scared. Ain't none of that. King Yella, man, he know what he been through. He know what he's starting to really understand what he been through. Can't yell at my age, you know what I'm saying? Can't yell at my age. So, you know, we, 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 we know what's up. We know we we can tell what we done been through now, especially if we started young, right? So, you know this, you know, E Day got killed this morning. Rest in peace, E Day. Uh, Can't yell posted up in his story uh, joint the conversation him and E Day had when. You know, they was on some stop the violence. He said he they was the first one that that was with it. You know, hit the hashtag free Larry Hoover and all that. He they did. So you know, uh, Ken Yellow went ahead and posted that. Of course, don't nobody want to hear that because you know they uh, the fans. You know, they fascinated with people dying and shit. So because you know, and I'm surprised, man, at a lot of these rappers y'all letting these fucking internet kids get away with this shit, man. They hyping y'all up. And yeah, I said it, man. Yeah, I said, yeah, 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 yeah. If I say something, I said it. You know what I mean? And I don't take nothing back. They gonna have to disprove what I say. These rappers, we we influenced by them, but they influenced by us. And when I say us, I really mean y'all. I'm not a fan of no man. I might support somebody's music or something like that. That's a, that's, that's as far as that go. Right? But for the younger kids and shit, they they influenced by these rappers, but. What they got to understand is the rappers is influenced by them. I done heard almost every rapper, every street rapper, admit that the fans got something to do with, they might not say, oh, it's only the fans, but the fans got something to do with egging on these wars and shit, you know what I mean, keeping the wars going and shit like that, because one side don't want to look one way to the fans. Everybody care about their reputation. You know, you don't know who you are till you, till you lose your reputation. Reputation ain't everything, man. But you know, that's what people be on. So you know, it take a lot. It take a lot of nuts for somebody like Ken Yeller to sit there and take the stand that he's been taking. And what surprised me, and and and, and, and I don't know if he's trolling or not. I see a lot of people say he's trolling, right? 
Um, whether he trolling or not, it's still a good look. FYBJ Maine, Mr. Disrespectful. Mr. Disrespectful, you know, J Maine. J Maine was the first, you know, I ain't gonna, you know, J Maine was, J Maine, he go hard. J Maine don't really be having no uh, sympathy for nobody or nothing like that. J Maine go hard with it. So J Maine, you know, he made a post, you know, saying, you know, we on this Stop the Vibes movement, man. They didn't kill E Day. Blah, blah, blah. Whether it was sincere or not doesn't really matter. He said it. A lot of fans, you know, these fans is easily influenced. So he did a good thing, whether he meant it or not. He don't got to mean it. He don't got to mean it. Just put it out there for the youngest, man. Let the youngest, you know, do something with that. The youngest might think you mean it, and they might try to go that route from here on out. So, so shout out to FYB J. Main. That was some real shit you did, bro. You know, Yella, you already know. Yella, man, you spoke before. You know what I'm saying? So you already know what it is. You know, you've been, you been standing up. You a stand-up guy. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Ruger. Ruger say, you know, pray for my city, you know? So shout out to Ruger, man. You know, shout out to, shout out to all them, all them, man, that, that been around enough. They try to change the step. Yeah, I fuck with anybody moving like that, man. So shout out to Ruger. Shout out to J-Man. Uh, shout out to King Yeller. You know, rest in peace, e -Day. You know, yeah, and I, and, I, and I already hear people in comments and all that saying, yeah, you know, uh, 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 what's the name? He day was real disrespectful towards Duck and all that. I get all that. I get all that. My thing is not egging on a whole war. If Duck people feel away, Duck people could feel away. I ain't, I ain't mad at them for feeling away. They going, you know, Duck people. I'm, I'm saying everybody else, mind y'all business, man. Mind y'all business, man. That's mine, right? Like, 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 take this, right? Me, me even talking about this. It's because it's a teachable moment, man. I take tragedies and try to make teachable moments out of them, man. And I try to also highlight the good on, on, on this channel. I don't know if y'all know this. I try to highlight the good that people do instead of the bad. And when people doing fuck shit, I try to call them out and keep it respectful, but call them out. And use the situation as a teachable moment. So if you do some fuck shit and I catch it, and I use it for a teachable moment, it still ain't nothing against you. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck about none of y'all rapping ass niggas or, or, or none, of, none of that type of shit. I don't care about that shit. You know, it's a teachable moment, man. Some, some it got to be people that's, that's highlighting the good shit. And I'm one of them people, man, because there's enough people highlighting the bad shit. So, you know, I'm one of those people that's going to highlight the good shit. I've been through all that shit in real life. I've been through all that shit in real life from a young from a young nigga. And still to this current day, man. I'm paying for the choices I made. So, yeah, I'm one of those people that's going to get to you like that. You know, I'm, I'm one of them individuals that don't care how nobody look at me. I, I went through my little stage and giving a fuck how people looked at me and all that. That shit was, I was miserable. Overrated experience. Don't ever do it. I wouldn't recommend it. I get that four thumbs down. Fuck these niggas. Fuck these. Fuck. Fuck these people. Man, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Not to get preachy on niggas, but do unto others as you, that's the golden rule. Everything else is commentary, man. No matter what religion, background, creed, race, color you come from, that's the golden fucking rule, man. So that's it, man. So, you know, real men, we're going to stand up. We're going to say how we really feel, man. We don't get no fuck about what y'all think about us, man. We just open a can or two here, what we, what we saying, and go and, and, and go the better route, man. Y'all want all these youngers to be killers and shit, man. Go do the killing all, Go do the killing yourself, man. Try and influence the youngers. You go do the killing yourself, man, so you can get hunted down and killed. Or if you lucky, you know, you get a life sentence or some shit or some 30 years shit or something like that, man. Yeah, man, it's the God Rock Kim, man. Never take your eyes off me again, man. That's what they want, man. I'm out. Rest in peace, E-Day.